Hey everyone, FPS Chazzle here. Welcome back to Let's Play 6 AI Hunter Killer. Doing Sink the Navy should be finishing this one up here. Uh, last time we sank a Kilo, Grisha, and an FS-1500. I believe the CR-9 here is a Grisha. What the heck is CR-7? Is that an old track that I just did not drop? Maybe. I'm not getting any down CR-9. Is that a track that doesn't matter? <clears throat> I got something off to the north here. What's that? Does it just default you to you on the profile? It seems that way. We're expecting another Grisha, aren't we? Yep, there it is. Okay. The CR7 seems like the guy we want. It has been a while since I streamed this, so like two weeks, something like that. Oh, you can't use the arrow keys up here. Okay. I always forget. Well, CR9 doesn't have any data for a very long time. Why is this here then? Drop it. What is it then? It keeps coming back. Is that biologic or something? Did I just turn? Okay, yeah, the toad is straightening out. I was like, what the heck is this thing with the bearing rate? Yeah, Greece is due north. <clears throat> uh, seemingly pulling away? I don't know, who knows? That's hard to say. Wait, so I have a tracker on? Both? Okay. Oh, maybe I was trying to figure out which was which. I take the tracker off. I wonder why you, they don't let you take these trackers off. Hey, what's up, PHG773? How's it kicking? Or what was the Grisha's TPK? 11? Holy crap, he's hauling. Hauling ish. <clears throat> 29's what we got, right? 28? 28. What about a uh, more precise thing? 86 divided by 3. Yeah, 28. No. No, sorry. What is that? Not a knight's number, 29. Perhaps 29. Why am I looking at my text? 29 notes. It goes to 29. What's this fella up to? Who knows? That's also Toad, and we just turned, so who knows if some of that data is anomalous. Maybe you turned around. Uh, do we have a solution queued up for this guy? Wrong tube. I guess we can just hang out at Periscope Top, that's fine. <laughs> Is there a helix? He already expended his stores, didn't he? Oh, I don't remember, man. Depth. Give me, give me shallow, man. Ceiling, nothing. Floor is fine. Uh, we'll try the floor thing, just to be like, I don't know, yeah, like, don't go deeper than this. Because I know in, like, Dangerous Waters and RA, like, it's one of the last times I played that, the ships seemed like they were able to spoof active torpedoes very well, and the torpedoes would, like, dive to the bottom, they'd, like, sound for some reason. And I wonder if a floor would prevent that, or if that just goes out the window. I assume that would prevent that. That's the whole point, right? It doesn't just go away when it's active. We'll do passive. 45 knots. How fast can Akrisha go? 30 knots, that's fine. RTE. 10,000 yards at this point. Seems like it's kind of far. Alright, but we got a snapshot lined up. Good to go. I wish you could just, like, copy the presets. 
secondary snapshot lined up. This is also true. But yeah, I can set it really shallow because we're just going for a surface thing. But yeah, that's all fine. I mean, it can get pretty shallow up there. Let's just do 60, 20. Cool. This guy seems like he may have turned around. Or that was just change in speed. I guess I could track him on the uh, spherical there. There we go, I'm there. Con, sonar. I have a new contact bearing zero what is two tracker nine, designated Charlie Sierra doing? one one. Let's put on tracker alpha. <clears throat> okay, so this is on the spherical, so this oh well I might have been turned a different way here, I can't tell. I wish they would draw the baffles, but now I can tell. Yeah, we are facing away because the line indicates course. So he was in the baffles here. I was going to say it looked like he faded away and then came back. But the bearing rate's increasing, so he definitely seems like he's getting close. He could be much closer than I think he is. Let's take a look. We're at periscope depth, 0, 3, 4. Yeah, okay, he's pretty close. He is pretty close. We could actually probably shoot. Solution also makes sense from like this perspective. Oh yeah, look at that. You can get yourself like a nice little straight line course there. Holy crap, that's close. Uh, don't mind where CR11 is. That doesn't indicate anything, but let's go for it. I think he's heading this way. Steaming hard, steaming fast. That's a high bearing rate. All right, presets, we'll do 4,500 yards. I usually like to do like, well, I guess it depends on how far away something is. This is fine. We're gonna keep the wire anyway, but let's uh, start, start lighting them up here. <clears throat> Launch tube one. Alrighty, cool. But yeah, it looks like he's tearing ass heading this way. I doubt he's going to be very wise to this thing until it's too late. Because <clears throat> he's hauling. He's going flank. Con, sonar. Unit is running normally. Very well. Uh, it says he has a sonar. I don't know how good that sonar is. <laughs> Especially going near flank speed. Oh, we just kicked it up even further. The full flank. Yeah, look at that. 90 divided by 3. Full flank. This Torpin here, they're going to meet quick. They got a pretty good closure rate. It would be one thing if he was heading straight for us. 75 knot closure rate, but it's probably more like... Uh... 60 knots. Is that right? I don't know. I'm trying to do trig in my head. You hear that? That's the sound of inevitability. <laughs> what Agent Smith says to Neo when he's holding them on the subway tracks. Alright, is he maneuvering? Is the torpedo overshooting? Uh, maybe. That's the torp. There's the ship. Yeah, it looks like he's crashed over. 
run in some other direction. The passive torp shouldn't lock onto this the wreck, should it? I wouldn't think a, a wreck would be louder than something, but yeah, yeah, I never, I never know. How's this looking over here? That's the torp. That's him. I, the periscope is so pixelated, it's pretty hard to like get a quick look and be like, okay, he turned around. Just to assume that he turned around. Probably not that far out. Something like that. Don't have enough data. Sir, the data support no conclusions as yet. For all we know, this may be an exercise. Here's to be locked on. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo has acquired. has an incredibly faint ping, that's what I like to hear. Did I ever check out what the objectives were for this mission? Just kill all sons of bitches, right? Let's take a peek. Yeah, that's it. Just search and destroy. Torpedo, what do you get? I wish I like could like send back a feed because it's basically like high frequency sonar, twenty thousand hertz. It definitely makes out shapes. Twenty thousand hertz. The uh, as your frequency goes higher, you can see more detail. Oh. Torpedo just dropped off the sphere. Is that how quiet it is at 45 knots? It's quieter than the Grisha. They don't really look like they're converging. I would expect that torpedo to converge on the Grisha. It's hard to tell though with how chonky this sonar display is, but it, it looks like it's home into something. What do we got here? <laughs> just two lines of data. I mean, it fits, but any two points make a straight line. That doesn't help us much. He slowed down a little bit? Yeah, that's interesting. I got two trackers on him. Okay. <laughs> Don't know what purpose that serves. Oh, uh, well, it's not going to look like it's converging like in dangerous waters because torpedoes have lag homing in this game and not lead homing. Dangerous waters, they have lead homing. So it's always gonna look like it's like behind. The solution may not be half bad. Uh, should I like maneuver a little bit instead of just like left to course two, hanging around eight, here? Zero, I sir. Like someone who's hanging around. <laughs> and this will take a little bit to catch up to. A little slower than an active torque. You heard that thing surprisingly well, but yeah, I think that is that quiet. 45 knots. That's insane. That's crazy. <clears throat> I mean, I guess it is, you know, much smaller. A ship has to make so much more power and inherently more noise than a torpedo does. Steady on course. Two, eight, zero. Solution may turn out to be not bad. Okay, it just dropped off the toad too. Interesting. Pretty sure it's still out there doing fine. <laughs> Launched it from pretty much as shallow as we can, just about. Just looking. Okay, may have maneuvered. But I also started turning. We also have Sierra 11. <clears throat> I 
Oh, well, yeah, look at, without looking at the two solutions, I put it nearly right on top of each other. Should be about to get a hit here. Hard to tell. Dropped off the sonar. Should we take a peek? Take a peek. There it is. Cool. Right on the money. <clears throat> a little further off than anticipated. But there you go. <laughs> For a second when that 3D popped up, I was freaking out. I was like, I don't see it. Where is it? And knows what he's doing, all kinds of maneuvering and stuff. And when you're only getting data every two minutes at 30 knots, you know, you're just blazing a good chunk of ground. So 30 knots, if you were going 20 minutes, so 30 knots, you go 30 miles, 30 nautical miles in an hour, 20 minutes, you do 10 nautical miles in an hour. At two minutes, you're doing one mile, one mile every two minutes, so that's, that's not insignificant. That's a good chunk of change for when it comes to TMA. And right before it updates, you're off by about a mile. Yeah, I mean, it looks, looks about right. Interesting. It looks like he's been kind of maneuvering. Is it raining? Or am I just hearing my fan? Sorry, aside. There's like a little tropical storm thing going up the east coast today. We didn't really get anything from it. And that torpedo gets so quiet beyond a certain point. When did I launch that? Here? Here. That's, I'm trying to just judge it based on time, alas, of how far it went. Drops off quick, man. Any second. Oh, they actually model wakes in this game? I didn't know that. Would not have expected that. Any second now. And he's really giving this thing a run for its money. How far is that thing away at this point? Eight miles. When did I shoot at him? It was around like the five mile point. <clears throat> Con sonar torpedo bearing zero Startling. one nine has detonated. <laughs> Cool. Con sonar explosion bearing zero one eight. That is too far. Are we going to see some nice brilliant explosion? That's probably too far away to render. So that's it. <clears throat> we'll wait for the water to clear, see if we can if we can still hear him. But a ship that size with a torp, that thing ain't coming away unscathed. I mean, it's like two thirds the length of an LA, and LA goes out to here. It's just hard to imagine that, isn't it? Unless it's like right next to it. Well, it's because these models are so chunky; you don't really get a good sense of scale. Uh, sea whiz? No, it's some kind of ray dome. <laughs> oh, maybe it doesn't say it was. Ocean clear. Not seeing anything. What was that? Mark forty eight?
I don't even think they have something in here for an American torpedo. Just Russian torpedoes. No ad cap. What is that? It's not Grisha. Measure. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's weird. Don't know what that is. Nothing seems to be coming up. I didn't hit a whale, did I? <laughs> I mean, we got like picture clear. What's that over there at the edges? What is that? Oh, is that just mirrors? Okay, well, we're clear. I don't see anything on the sonar. Why does it look like there's like elevated noise in the background at the moment? Could just be a function of where we are. I expect that to be a little lower. Alright, let's uh, double check the goals. All done. Let's wrap it up. I showed your report to the Admiral. He was very impressed. Of course, I told him that he shouldn't expect less from a Newton-trained man. Oh my god. Oh, oh. <laughs> <clears throat> I was struggling at the beginning, but I'm just like crushing it now, dude. I'm crushing it. All right. I nearly got sunk. We won't, we'll, we'll never mind that. All right, let's check out this review. And then let's hop into dangerous waters. Right? We're done with this region. I fixed the mission, or at least hopefully I did. Alrighty. Okay, three ships are just coming out in standard two cover formation, whatever they say in frickin' Die Hard. Two by two cover formation. <laughs> Alright, we got some dude over here. That was, yeah, that was the first guy I shot. Here's this guy coming out here. Kilo hanging out up there. And here's this other Grisha. There's the Helix just being a nuisance. Out, out, there, out go two torpedoes, all right. Powie. Powie. Oh, the Helix, like, flew over almost as soon as that thing got blew, blown up. I wish I could see that on the replay. I wish I could do a 3D replay, dude. Like, how hard would that be? <clears throat> okay, okay, Helix dropped a torp. I thought the Kilo launched at me. No, I think a Helix drops a torp, and I think the Kilo does shoot at me. Yeah, a Kilo shot at me. It's going to be hard to see what this torp did. Okay, Kilo shot again. Shooting again, sir. Go to battle stations. Yeah, that torp nearly got me. Got lucky with some countermeasures. How slow is that thing? Or did I just get very lucky with a countermeasure right there? It's hard to tell in this game when they're coming at you because they got that lag. The lag logic. When they got lead logic, they go constant bearing on your ass. That's, in Dangerous Waters, you can tell a torp is locked on to if the active sonar bearing doesn't really change. But in this game, it's much harder because it's always chasing you instead of like going for an intercept. I did fix the DW mission. I took out the Tor, the Tor point defense, Sam's. And uh, hopefully that should be good enough. I think those are the ones that are giving me the most fits. And we can always use the Tomahawk to take out that big fixed emplacement. That was uh, on that little peninsula. Alrighty. That Kilo nearly got my ass. There's that Grisha just whirling around out there. Kilo's running away. We shoot at Kilo. We kill Kilo. And in comes the Grisha. Shoot at Grisha. He turns around. Did he hear the torpedo? Or was that just a coincidence? I don't know. Considering when I lost contact with my torpedo... I'm thinking that was just a coincidence. I don't think he knew the torpedo was there. Especially up here, it's just in his baffles. But yeah, look at that lag logic right there. Just a smooth curve. Dangerous waters, it would have been a sh whenever it locked on. A straight line to the target. <clears throat> Alright, well that's it. Okay. We got one region left. Looks like the fun stuff, Russian stuff, difficult stuff. 
mini sub attack North Korea, rogue SSBN, rebel Akula attack, and assault on the rebels. They really like these Russian rebel things. <laughs> I guess in sub command it's just a full board Russian navy thing, but back to dangerous waters they go back to Russian rebellion kind of thing. I guess that's what was like uh, plausible in the 90s was another coup of some sort. Russia was not the most stable. Yeah, the campaign is still there. Um, as long as you don't add or take a mission away from the campaign, it doesn't seem to care, but I do have to restart the mission, which is the only uh, downside. But uh, now that we've been through it, I think we can kind of zip through there. Alrighty, cancel that. Exit. Annapolis departing. <laughs> Alrighty.